So as many people know, in Illustrator you can create some text and then convert it to outlines, which then makes it into paths that you can edit and change your characters and letter shapes. But what a lot of people don't realize is that you can also do that in Photoshop. So let me show you a quick and easy way to do that with a couple different font styles. The first one I'm going to use is like a script font. And the first thing you need to do after you've created your text layer is right click on the text layer and choose convert to shape. Once you've done that go ahead and click off of it because you don't want everything selected and I'm going to zoom in a little bit holding down the Z key and using my left mouse button so I can zoom in to the letter C and I want to come down and grab the direct selection tool and then come over to the letter C and I'm going to click on the line once roughly in the area where I want to edit it and you'll see once I do that that it brings up the points on the line and I want to click on the first point to select it and then hold down the shift key and click on the point at the other end to select that so now I can affect that chunk of line in the middle and I'm going to click on the line and I'm going to drag in a little bit so I can make the letter a little bit fatter and once I've done that I just click outside to deselect and I think maybe I'll do the top of the C too I'm going to hold down the Z key and left mouse to zoom in again just because I want to. So I click once on the line. I'm going to click on the first point to select it. Hold down shift to click on the second point. And then I'll go back and I'll click on that part of the line. And I'm going to bring it in a little bit. Make it a little fatter. And come off of it. Let me control Z to zoom out a little bit. So you can see already you're starting to make your text look different and let me do one more little section here zoom in again click on the line select the first point hold down shift click the second point and then drag in you may need to depending on where you're changing it you may need to select additional points or fewer points depending on what you're doing I'm going to hold down the space bar and the left mouse button scroll over because say you wanted to take the end of the S here. You can bring it in if you want so it's not out so far. And you can play with this for quite a while and you end up with something pretty unique which is uh, cool. I'm going to try that again with some different text and show you a little different way to do it. So this time I have a different font. It's a little more choppy and square. So again we'll right click on the text layer, choose convert to shape. Make sure that we have our direct selection tool. And I'm going to grab the bottom of this S and I'm going to hold down the shift key and grab the bottom of the other S because I want to move them together and make sure they're being manipulated the same. And then I'm going to use the down arrow key. I could use the up arrow key. As you see it goes up but I want to take it down a bit. And if I hold down the shift key in the down arrow then it does it in larger increments. So I'll come down like that. Um, maybe I want to take the top of the T up, so I'll select it. And then use the up arrow key this time. And now that I take that up, I can see that I don't like the gap there. So I'm going to grab the T and the S and bring it over a little bit. Grab the S, bring it over some more. That's not evenly spaced, but I'm just going quick to try and show you the idea. Now I'm going to grab the right side of the top of the T and take it out. So it aligns. Maybe I'll grab the other side. Take it over to the end of the word. Let me see what else could I do. I can go into this E. I'm going to grab the end of the E and say I don't want it pointing up. So I'm going to select the two endpoints. Just click in the middle of the line and I can bring it down. So it's down instead of pointing up. I can also add in, I can create a line, a rectangle I mean. And within my move tool selected. Whoops. Actually select it and this works much better. I can bring it up and align it. I'm going to control T and bring that end in a little bit. So 
so it fits there. Hold down Shift and Alt to make a duplicate, because I want one over here also. Control T, bring that end out. And all of this would be aligned better if you took more time, but I'm just trying to show the basics here. And then the really cool thing that you can do is, let me get those layers together. You can select all of those layers, Control G to put them in a group. Then we can add a pattern overlay. Say you wanted to color these, add a stroke, add a pattern overlay, and now you've made some unique text that you can color.